Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something a little bit different for you guys. As you know throughout the years I've gone to a lot of interesting places and shared a lot of brain wrinkles with you. However one of the things that I noticed whenever I was in the Pacific Northwest was something that's a little a little different but I think that it's very timely right now considering the crazy weather that's going on on the west coast so today we're going to talk about tsunami safety. Now I'm going to do a follow-up on Nomad News for this so if you're interested in finding out what all the experts have to say then go over there and check this out however today I'm gonna to show you what I found and why this applies to you as you travel now this definitely took me by surprise because I was not even thinking about this whenever I went to the beautiful coastline you hear about this stuff happening like abroad but not ever here the real fact is though the United States is not without our own weird weather and sometimes we could be a victim of tsunamis also now as you're traveling keep Keep these things in mind and look out for things that look like this. This is what we found. This is one of the many signs that we found about tsunamis and here it tells a little bit more about what actually happens and what you should do. Now signs like this are not included at every stop however here at the Oregon Coastal Aquarium they have a lot of great information including this map as to what it would look like and also how they maintain these areas to make sure that people are safe. So lots of tsunami information because well let's face it they're pretty dangerous and destructive. In fact it says here most recently about AD 1700 the tsunami was caused by an earthquake and it happened all the way over in the Cascadia subduction zone and it flooded all of the marshes in the bay and it made it really really bad. Now that might seem like a really long time ago, however, there was more recently a tsunami warning in California. This is a very real threat and typically while the results are not as destructive, they can be. Look guys, so much more information about the tsunamis. Right here we find this piece that was actually a piece of a dock. And you can see it is pretty worn as a result, but there's the entire story of the tsunami. But how does that apply to us here in the States when we see tsunami signs? Well, in fact, they do have some information here. Kind of weird, right? Never in a million years did I ever think that I was going to start seeing signs like that all over the place. In fact, whenever I went up there the last time, I don't feel as though there were as many of the signs. And so is this a more recent thing that they're really making these like rules and parameters and thoughts like really predominant? I, I don't know. But I also noticed this. This boat right here is actually a product of a tsunami. It's called a tsunami boat. And this abalone and sea urchin fishing boat was actually swept out to sea during the 2011 tsunami tsunami in Japan. So you might be asking why is it here? Well believe it or not it actually crossed the ocean and landed in Cape Disappointment Washington which is not too far from where we camped this morning and it ran aground there and they found it and were able to trace it based on the numbers and so they have it here on display as a um, reminder of that particular incident but also to share the story of just how strong a tsunami can be. It's wild to think that that little tiny boat could make it all the way across the ocean and onto the shores here in the States. But that just goes to tell you that these storms are extremely dangerous and they're also very powerful. They can take things and they can move them literally around the world. And so that's why it's super important for us as nomads to be prepared. Now here on the channel I've covered all sorts of other kinds of storms so when I saw this I thought oh my goodness I need to say something about this to everyone but over time things have happened and now that it is so important because of the current weather conditions I thought we need to be a little bit more vigilant if you go into areas that they are having extreme rain if they are having massive huge waves stay safe not sorry Make sure you're okay. That's first and foremost my goal for you guys in 2023 to stay safe. And uh, I'll be right there alongside you guys, keeping on the safety road. Whew, 
speaking of tsunami, the wind is getting up outside. So we moved inside for just a minute because we're about to hit the road. But one of the things I thought was really interesting was that on that very stretch of highway that we were seeing all of these signs, the very stretch that I had just not thought this to be an issue before, in 1964, there actually was a tsunami that hit the Oregon coast. And so that wasn't all so far back. Now in the grand scheme of things, I wasn't alive during this particular first incident. However, many of you probably were. And so by seeing this, I know that my parents both were alive when this happened. And so it's not in such a distant past that it's not a reality. And so I think it's important for us to educate ourselves as we're going into places. And my tips to you guys are always to check out the weather conditions, of course, but also to see if there's any weird safety things that they're kind of like alerting you to, like these signs. Whenever you stop off at a viewpoint, read everything. You never know what you might find that could be handy to you. And also, the other thing that I thought that these signs were really great for was they tell you an evacuation route to get to safety if you happen to be in the midst of something like this. Now, I don't know about you, but I want to stay safe. So I think it's really important for us to look into these and as we do to learn and to make sure that we're making smart choices, especially with this weird weather that's been happening in the past few years where we're having all these fires and all this excessive rain and all of these floods in places that never have had these before. Educating ourselves is the primary thing that's going to make van life more feasible and safe for us. And ultimately, it's supposed to be about the adventure. So stay Staying safe during those adventures is super, super important. Thanks guys for coming along for today's short video. I hope this is helpful to you. If you are out anywhere on the West Coast right now and you're getting slammed by this bad weather, please be safe. It is always more important for you to be safe than to have the adventure. The adventure can happen later on. You cannot be replaced. The adventure can. So with that said, I'm going to hit the road. I'm off to my little adventure for the day and I'll share that with you on an upcoming upload. Until next time, guys, remember we're not here here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. Bye!